Hi everyone, let's take a look at this week's news events. Now, Australia is really in the spotlight uh, for this week. We're going to see that as we go through uh, and through Friday. But uh, today, earlier in the day, we had Bernanke speak. It really wasn't concerning any economic policy. It was a speech that was released call, uh, called Economic Measurements. And um, there was no market movement, as far as I know, from that. Uh, later tonight, we have some pound news, New Zealand news. Uh, tomorrow is really what we're looking forward to, especially with the Australian dollar. We have the cash rate being released since May. It's been a 3.5%. It's been staying there since May. It's expected to be that tomorrow. And if it's uh, lower or higher, of course, if there's any deviation, there could be some market movement because of that. Later in the day, Bernanke is speaking again to an audience in Washington, and he'll be speaking uh, concerning the need of financial education in wake of recent crisis. So uh, there, because of his words carrying so much weight, there could be a market movement. You really don't know, but there will be questions asked of him more than likely. So uh, as he speaks, uh, maybe he could say something. Um, that could bring some movement to the market. So that'll be Bernanke speaking tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. Wednesday, uh, some red tag news is the Bank of England inflation report. This is a quarterly report that includes projections for inflation and for um, economic growth over the next two years. So listen to what Sir Marvin King has to say uh, with the Bank of England tomorrow. Uh, some things could be said there to shine some light on uh, the direction of where they're going and then um, later in the day we do have more Australian news uh, and New Zealand news. With the Australian news we have the unemployment rate being released and then later in the day we have yen monetary policy statement being released which is red tag also and Thursday another huge day for the Australian dollar um, we have some red tag news earlier in the day with the uh, yen and the uh, US dollar but then later that evening we have the monetary policy statement for the Australian dollar being released and with all this Australian news um, it's been very bullish recently but with all this news this week we could see it going all the way up to um, 108 at least going in that direction before we see a retracement if we have more bullish news throughout the week here um, Friday Chinese news uh, which also has an effect on Australia because uh, Australia relies a lot on China with Chinese booming economy they uh, look to Australia for the resources a lot so that really improves um, when there's Chinese good news that's good for Australia when there's Chinese bad news that's bad for Australia so that's worth keeping an eye on also and then we're gonna finish the week as far as red tag events go with the Canadian unemployment change so that's just a quick overview of this week's news events that will be released this is a uh, forexfactory.com we're looking at and take a look at the article below and leave any questions or comments that you might have and uh, have a great week